Hi, welcome to Fit for a Feast. My name is Sloan. And my name is Katrina. And today we're going to be doing some advanced chest dance. So since my back is not flexible at all, Katrina's going to demonstrate it. Before you do a chest in, you want to make sure that your back is warmed. So you can do a bunch of different stretches such as just the regular seal stretch. You can also do a bridge. <laughs> so you can also do a cat stretch, so you just arch your back like that. You can do the stretch where when you <laughs> when you stand up, you can grab onto like the back of your legs and like pull, and it stretches out like this part of your back. That that also helps more afterwards if your back is feeling stiff. You can do that, and it really helps release your back. So if you're just beginning with this, you should check out our other video on chest stands because this video is going to be for more advanced ways of doing it. So to get down in your chest stand, what you're going to do is try to arch your back as much as you can going into it so you get momentum. And also make sure when you go down, when you like lie down, you put your hands on the ground before anything else so you don't like smack your chin or anything on the ground. So it's going to be like this. So to keep your balance while doing a chest stand, you really, it's mostly just about your arms. If you're falling like out of it, like um, coming back up like that, then just keep pushing your arms so that you stay more over. Like that. And then also if you're new to learning this and you can't really stay up, you could have someone spot you and just kind of hold your legs up. What you can do, you can either, when you're doing your chest stand, really prefers like, what you find more comfortable for you. So you either can pull like your chin down like this, that's how I do it. Unless I go all the way over, then I go onto my cheek so I don't kind of, it doesn't hurt as much on your cheek. So that was a more advanced one where instead of leaving my feet like straight up, I kind of brought them to my head. So you can try that. For that, you'll have to work on your back, like back flexibility a lot. And as you can see, when I get down, I don't really plop down all the time. I What I do is when I'm up in my chest stand, I split my legs and kind of roll down. So like, another way to get out of your chest stand is reversing how you got into it. So just rolling out of it. So Katrina's going to demonstrate something that's called a donut roll. So as you can see, Katrina put her cheek on the floor so that way she doesn't hurt her back. So when you're doing the donut roll, make sure before you try that that, um, that you can do the other ones I showed, like touching your head or like putting your feet on the ground because you'll need to be able to do those in order to do that. And also make sure again when you're doing it that um, you don't put your chin down when you're doing it, you turn your face to the side or else you can injure your neck. So something we use in rhythmic to help us with like transitioning easily and like Test dance and stuff is this. <laughs> That'll make you more like stronger in rolling into your chest dance and stuff because going from here. It's harder than going to come here. So make sure when you're doing chest stands, you do it on a soft surface. So if you don't have a mat like this, then do it on a carpet or a mattress or even a trampoline. 
So have fun practicing your chest stands and remember to be safe and don't push your back too much that you hurt it. So see you later on Fit for a Feast. Bye! Bye.